Gowdy puts an end to Barack Obama's interference. Once it was discovered that Barack Obama had been running major surveillance through the National Security Agency, NSA, on citizens, Donald Trump and his team during the 2016 elections, he knew he was, that it was going on. Several reports had been discovered that the illegal surveillance had been done to try to break President Trump and Obama was accused of operating a shadow government. Another strange thing was that the Obama family had purchased a mansion just blocks away from the White House, which is not something any other president has done. Trey Gowdy has become suspicious of his acts and has begun his operation to stop Obama's personal shadow government. This is then when the surveillance operation was discovered. He ran in through the National Security Agency, the NSA. The NSA is where Obama still has many of his cohorts, even while not in power anymore. One of his cohorts, Reality Winner, was recently arrested for leaking some highly classified documents against Trump and possible collusion with Russia. We're not going to reauthorize these surveillance programs if the American people are not satisfied that their security is not going to be safeguarded, Gowdy said. Gowdy expressed his concern with Obama and how he had misused these programs this unmasking that is a privilege to be able to request that a U.S. person's name be unmasked. I want to know who's making the request and what is the evidentiary basis on that request. And if it's late in your tenure, like the day before you leave office, that should send off alarms and sirens in your head as to why that person did it. Trey Gowdy is on top of his game and working to make sure that no one can do this again. Do you support Trey Gowdy in putting an end to Obama's shadow government? Absolutely. But now that he's taking on the better position, oh, they're in trouble now. They're in trouble, believe me. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.